here from Lapos. So, since we just did our last video and it was kind of a subject on, you know, people always talk about, questions that we always get. We figured we might as well just start running through all the questions that we get on a daily. And this is one of them. People call in and say, well, I got a 12 inch cylinder up front. No, you don't. I mean, you might, but it's very, very rare and uncommon to see that. So we're gonna go over the correct way how to measure cylinders. And this is a standard, standard hydraulic cylinder. We're gonna go over the correct way on how to measure this. Because a lot of people, and I'm gonna say most people get this wrong and don't understand how they quite work. Um, we get a lot of people that call and say, hey, I ordered sixes and uh, you guys sent me tens, or you know, you know, you, you get what I'm saying. But we get people that say that because they'll grab a six inch cylinder and they measure from top to bottom and it's just shy of 10 inches. So they go, this is a 10 inch cylinder. And oh, that's technically a six inch cylinder, but you're measuring it wrong. So that's what this video is gonna cover, uh, how to measure correctly and to get you guys to better understand what we're talking about. And that way you guys are getting the correct parts and you guys can also you know, repair things a lot easier. So what we're gonna pretty much start off on is different sizes of cylinders. And when I mean sizes, I'm gonna mean diameter of the cylinder itself. So the actual casing size here. So what I got in this hand right here is actually a skinny. Now, nowadays this isn't very common to find or to see in a lot of vehicles, but this is still around and it does still float around from time to time. Um, you also got... You later, Vic. Thanks for helping with the video. Appreciate it. No, I'm just kidding. That is actually Vic leaving right now. Um, now he had somewhere to go, so unfortunately he couldn't drop it on the video. Whoop couldn't drop it on the video with me today, but uh, hopefully we'll get him on the video next time. But, so I got a skinny here, I got a medium here, and I got a standard fat. So we're gonna start off with that because that's one thing a lot of people get confused. People will call uh, this cylinder that they get in kits nowadays, which is an inch and five eighths outer diameter, and they'll call this a skinny. So we're gonna properly measure all these, that way you guys can see what's going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of scoop forward on this camera a little bit. That way you guys can get see the measurements and I'm gonna mic everything for you. All right, so we're gonna start with the skinny cylinder. As you can tell, it's skinny. So, no, I'm gonna just mic it. It'll be a lot easier for us to read. So I'm gonna, got my micrometer right here, or calipers or veneers, whatever you guys wanna call them. We're gonna set it out to zero. And this is considered a standard um, or a skinny cylinder. A lot of the skinnies were found back in the days, um, in, the, in the 80s, 90s, and even the early 2000s, they were still floating around. And they still float around nowadays too. Um, it's just not very common and most companies don't carry these. But we do still offer rebuild kits for them and they still are in certain vehicles. So that's the reason why we're going over this, because people order the wrong O-rings all the time. So we wanna make sure you guys get the correct stuff. So you can see here, and now this might be flipped backwards on your screen, but that's reading an inch and a quarter, 1.25. So an inch, an inch and a quarter outer casing. That's a skinny with a 7 8 shaft. Uh, yeah, 0.8. Yeah, so pretty much a 7 8 shaft. So that is a skinny cylinder. That's what's considered skinny, inch and a quarter outer casing. Now there's mediums, which this is a cutaway version I'm going to show you right here. It's a cutaway version of one of our cylinders, but this is a medium. And a medium is gonna measure, uh, there's gonna be a few different medium sizes out there as well. But on the outside of the casing, you guys can see that, uh, glare's a little bad, 1.5. So it's an inch and a half outer casing. Now on the skinny, the skinny shaft is a lot smaller. Um, it's only a seven eighths if I'm not, yep, seven eighths. And on this one, we're gonna start moving up into a bigger shaft. This is going right at a one inch shaft. So the medium, which again, isn't very commonly found nowadays, and most hydraulic companies and most hydraulic kits supplied nowadays are actually fats. And we'll go over a fat. So we'll put this aside right here. We'll bring that back in the picture in a little bit. This is a six inch uh, fat cylinder. So this fat is considered what's standardly used nowadays in the market. Now, this is the most commonly used and most commonly found in pretty much all kits, uh, most cars out there. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't any other cylinder sizes out there, but as far as uh, majority vote, you know, you're gonna see these in there. And this is gonna be an inch and 
Let's get that glare out of there. It's an inch and five eighths outer diameter. And the, and the shaft itself is one inch, just shy of an inch. So that's actually, yeah, it's one inch. So the fat shares the same shaft size as the medium, but the only difference is the casing. So again, what's most commonly found nowadays is gonna be a, a fat cylinder. Um, so we are just going over that because a lot of people order the wrong O-rings online. So that's one thing I wanna kind of clarify for you guys. But the biggest argument that's always out there and what people always go, no man, you're wrong. It's like, yeah. Okay, I'm wrong. I do this every day for a living. I'm wrong. But it's the truth. Now, a lot of you guys know sizes of the cylinders just by looking at them. What size cylinder is this? A lot of people are going to say 6, 8, 10, right? Well, whoever said 6, this is right. This is a 6-inch cylinder. But this is where people start getting confused at. This is a 6-inch cylinder. You measure from top to bottom, that guy's reading just about 10 inches. So people will say that they have a 10 inch cylinder. But the way cylinders are correctly measured is measured off of the amount of stroke. And what we mean by stroke is the actual movement that comes out of here. So what I did here is, well, we got a cutaway version of our cylinder. So this is a, just a sample piece that we use to show people how, you know, how they work and how they function. Um, there's no O-rings on it, that way they, they slide a little bit easier. Um, you know, people get to play with it. We normally have it sitting on our counter. But what I'm going to show you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mark, actually it's already marked right here. But I'm just going to go over a little bit darker with a sharpie. And if you can see, oh, drop that. If you can see that, that sharpie mark, it's right at the edge of the cylinder nut. And the cylinder nut's all the way tightened. So that nut's there, or that mark's right there. So. Again, this is a six inch cylinder. So now watch that black line right there as I open this up. See that? So that black line's there. So now what we're gonna measure is from this black line to the, the bottom of the cylinder because that is the amount of movement that your cylinder had. So we'll get this tape measure real quick. It's a little hard because I'm trying to do this uh, reverse image. more or less right there and we'll center seat we're reading six inches right there so that's how cylinders are actually measured a six inch if you measure it from top to bottom now and you get this guy and you measure it from here most people are gonna say it's 10 inches because that's what it's reading but you're not getting this full movement when you're hitting the switch you're only getting the movement of from where that black line starts to there this is your stroke this is how cylinders are measured, by the amount of stroke that comes out, not by the top to bottom size. So, hopefully that clears things up for you guys. Now, laid out right here, I have a whole bunch of cylinders. And what we're gonna do is go over the correct size and what people say the size is. I got an eight inch cylinder, 10, 12, 14, and a 16 inch cylinder. Um, right now on the counter, they don't look much different because it's kind of black on black here, but Got a 16, a 14. We got ourselves a 12. See those? Then we got ourselves a 10, an 8, and a 6. So now if you guys kind of take into consideration what we said or how I showed you guys the amount of movement here. Now I'm not gonna be able to open these up because these actually do have the O-rings in them and these are fully functioning brand new uh, cylinders so it's gonna be hard for me to actually extend them out to show you. But what I wanna do is show you how people measure it and how they get it wrong. And that way that you guys understand that that's not the way, the correct way to measure it. That way when you're ordering parts or ordering anything for it, you're understanding it and, and on top of that, you're getting the knowledge and the correct terminology of how this is uh, done. So again, if I measure a cylinder from top to bottom like this, this is not the correct way to measure. This is the incorrect way, and this is gonna measure just about 10 inches. And we all know that this isn't a 10 inch cylinder. This is a six inch cylinder. So make sure you guys are measuring by the amount of movement that comes out from here to here, not overall size. So, because what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna just lay these all out here. A six is gonna read about a 10. 
10 inch cylinder is going to read almost 12 and the 12 is almost going to read 14. Oh, sorry, a 10 is going to read almost 14. A 12 is going to read almost 16. And this is a 14 is going to read almost 18. So you can see where people misinterpret this and they think they got bigger than they really have when they, realistically they don't. I get people all the time that call us and say, I got you know, a 12 inch cylinder up front and they're actually talking about an eight. So they actually got an eight inch cylinder up front because we all know if you stick a 12 in there, your suspension's not even gonna move 12 inches. What's gonna end up happening is one of two things, either eventually bending the cylinder or overextending the cylinder and breaking something suspension -wise. So again, we're doing these videos to, to kind of clarify things because the market is so, you know, hush, hush. No one wants to tell secrets. Well, this isn't a secret. This is general knowledge, but people just don't understand how to, to read it, you know? So we figured kind of just put it in easier terms. Cause you know, when I read some of the stuff online and you know, we go to classes and seminars learning about pneumatic, I'm looking at some of the stuff I'm like, can someone give me a dictionary? Cause I don't know what the heck this says or what they're saying, or the, how this word even converts over to what we use in our industry. So, from all the knowledge we have in all the years and all the game, you know, combined knowledge between Art, myself, Vic, Eric, and all the guys here, we wanna make it easier for you guys. That way, you guys understand how it works. Now, these videos aren't necessarily for just our customers. You know, if you're not our customer, it's okay. That doesn't matter. Uh, we just want you to be able to have the correct information. We want you guys to be able to sit down and if you have a question, call us and not be afraid about that question. So I'm gonna bring us to another point real quick. Thank you guys for all the questions, emails, DMs. Now I try to respond to everybody. It is very, very hard because not only am I doing all the social media stuff and the Instagram and all the, the coordination with all that, but we're still trying to build cars and do production at the same time. So I try to, balance it out for you guys and you know make everyone happy if you guys aren't able to get a hold of me or get a hold of any of the guys through social media you know within you know an hour or two you know don't continue to send the same message over and over and over the easiest way to do is just grab you know your phone call us someone is always going to be sitting at all these desks right here so we have our tech people here to help you regarding any other questions you have you know um, basic information as far as hours and stuff like that, it's all gonna be listed on the website, so it makes it really easy. But, you know, if you guys need help, it just, just don't be afraid, call us though. It makes it a lot easier to communicate back and forth. But that's the reason why we're doing these videos, is to help you guys at home, help you guys in the garage, help you guys build this stuff back, and, and um, get it done right, and get it done correctly, and at the same time, learn the correct terminology and to help you guys with everything. So. Again, appreciate the videos. Uh, I appreciate the support on the videos, I should say. I appreciate everything you guys do on uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube. You guys, uh, you know, you guys are killing it. You guys are bumping up the subscribers, you know, like crazy in the last uh, two months. So I do appreciate that. The more subscribers, the more likes we get. It is the easier for us to, you know, keep doing these videos. The more negativity and people bashing and stuff like that, it just makes you say, "Fuck it, I don't want to do these videos." So, you know. We're here to help and we want to make it easier for you guys. Uh, another thing, we just hit like 102 videos. Appreciate it. This could be like 103. Another thing, today is Art's birthday. So I'm going to cut this video short. We're going to get home. Um, go say happy birthday to my dad. Uh, he didn't come in today, but, um, you know, happy birthday to Art. If you guys know him, if you guys uh, ever met him, if you guys have ever just talked to him, um, if you guys ever get a chance to say happy birthday to him, thank him. Uh, for everything he does to the community and uh, you know, low rank community in general. So thank you guys again. Alex here from Hoppos signing out. Visit the website www.hopposonline.com 909-923-5553 is our phone number. Open here Monday through Friday 9 to 530 Pacific Standard Time and we are located in Ontario, CA, California, not Canada. Thank you guys.